Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, hopefully my camera isn't really shaky because I've actually got my arm um, propped up against my legs. So, hopefully the camera isn't as shaky because I know sometimes um, the camera moves around a lot on you. I apologize. I actually have shaky hands. If you can tell, my hand is just really, really shaky. Um, I've always had that, so it's something that I really cannot fix. So, anyways, um, I'm going to make this, again, a pregn- like a vlog just about my pregnancy. Um, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I just figured this would be a good opportunity while my son is laying down and in bed, um, to just talk about it. I also have... Um, Pokemon playing in the background. I've been addicted to this for quite a while. I've played this multiple times. I haven't actually like done the whole entire game yet. I haven't walked. I mean, like beating all the bosses. Yeah, I've beaten all the bosses, but I haven't actually played all of it yet. So um, I'm just sitting here playing that. I've that's been my little kryptonite for the past couple of days. Um, anyways, when I mentioned that I want to talk to you guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys about everything that's really been going on for the past couple of days. Um, a lot has been going on. So, I am going to be, um, 13 weeks on Tuesday. I am 12 weeks and one day today. And, um, we're getting closer and closer to finding out the gender of the baby. Everyone except for my grandpa and maybe my friend thinks that it's a girl. I mean a boy. Sorry. <laughs> um, they think it's a boy, but for the mass majority, everyone thinks it's a girl. And that's honestly, that's honestly what we are hoping for. Um, and if, I mean, it's a, if it's a boy, you know, I'd be happy either way, but I honestly just really want a girl. Um, there's another thing that I kind of want to talk to you guys about too, and that's just some of the issues that I've been having lately. Um, one of them lately has been my skin. I don't know if you can see, but around my mouth. I have two pimples. I have actually, I have two white heads right here that decided to uh, be buddy buddy with each other. And then I've got one there. And then I've got, let me zoom in right here. I've got one right here. And that's pretty much it for my breakouts. But um, I woke up one morning and my whole entire skin was like super dry, super red, and it just. It broke out everywhere. So, um, I'm battling with some skin issues. Not only that, too, but I've also felt, like, a lot of pressure built up, like, right here in my, um, like, around my bladder. So, I know that's a baby. <laughs> I know it's a baby because it's, like, the baby's been making me go to the bathroom a lot. A lot normal. Like, a lot, uh, more than normal was what I meant to say. And, um, it's not fun because literally I'll be standing at work trying to take a customer's order and I'll feel like kick, kick, kick or like some pressure and I'm like, come on, just stop. You know, I'm trying to work. I don't, I don't need to pee right now. But yeah, there's that issue too. Um, there's also been a couple of days where I've just felt like not sick but kind of woozy and nauseated. Um there was a day at work where I almost ended up passing out. Like my vision went extremely blurry and I couldn't really I guess um see anything. And that was super scary. It was really scary. Um I had to hold on to the counter and walk because I just, I could not hardly see. I'm trying to play the game also while I'm talking to you guys. I'm sorry. 
I keep looking away a lot, but um, it turns out my blood pressure just went from like a normal level and it just dropped instantly. And that's what happened. Also, I think I was a little on the dehydrated side. So I just ended up coming home and I drank lots and lots of water and I ate healthy. So it made me feel better. And uh, I haven't had an issue since. Um, another thing I want to add is that my boyfriend's um, mom has been causing a lot of issues for me lately. Um, I want to just kind of put it out there, I guess, and just talk about it. It would make me feel better if I talked about it. Um, one of the things that she is saying is that my boyfriend Marcus made a huge mistake in getting another girl pregnant. Um, I never wanted to have, you know, two kids by two different dads. I never wanted that. I don't think anyone does. But sometimes things don't work out the way that you want them to. You know, if I had it my if I had it my way, I would have dated somebody completely different than the first person that I dated when um when I um when my son was conceived because then my son would be able to have a dad in its life and somebody who wants to be involved but Marcus has been involved literally in Theron's life for quite a while even before even before Theron was born he was always really supportive of me and he's always like what do you need you know just as a just as a friend though because he um me and him didn't you know obviously date back then um So another thing too, they keep saying that I am, I'm in like a really uh, complicated situation. Um, honestly, there's nothing complicated about a baby. Nothing at all. A baby is not complicated or a mistake or anything short than a miracle and a blessing in somebody's life. And um, I think that's what. That's what they ended up saying, you know, that this baby is a mistake. And so pretty much, and pretty much she called all of the kids a mistake and that she didn't want to be involved, um, which doesn't bother me any. If you don't want to be involved, you don't want to be involved. But she, um, it definitely made me upset a little bit because, you know, I understand people are upset with me. I understand people are mad at me because I'm pregnant. I get it. But the fact of the matter is nothing can be done about this. Nothing can be changed about this. And people are just going to have to accept it is what it is. You know. Um, I'm hoping things will get better between us. I really do. But it doesn't seem like it will. And I'm hoping... That she can um, just respect this decision, you know, that me and Marcus are going to have. Um, me and him have decided that we are going to get married before the baby comes. Um, he obviously hasn't, propo hasn't proposed yet. Whenever he's ready, he will. And I will say yes, and my last name will be changed. Um, so there's that. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and pretty much just, like, tell you guys everything that's going on. Um, the only thing I can ask for you guys right now is just good vibes, you know? <laughs> that everything's going to be okay and decent between me and his mom and that things will get better. Um, if you guys do pray, believe in God, anything like that, I just wanted to ask you guys to pray for the baby. Um, nothing's wrong with the baby. I just want, like, a healthy and safe pregnancy. And that's really it, that all that I can ask for. So, um, I want to thank you guys for listening to me talk for this long. And, um, thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!